Welcome to Chakra Yoga. And I thought it would be fun to start this with sharing something with you. You'll see on the screen, there's oils that are recommended for each chakra. And I do have the intention of going into each oil and sharing more information about each oil and how to use it with each chakra. But in the meantime, today we're doing the fourth chakra and the fourth chakra obviously is located in the middle of the chest. The fourth chakra is the balance point between the upper energies of the heavens and the lower energies of the earth. When balanced, it's associated with love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, service, and the element is air. When we're in this state, the heart is awakened. And the feeling is, it's a feeling of we rather than me. So, hello. Now we'll start our practice. I'll read more to you as we go through the practice, but I just wanted to open it with that little bit of information. By now you probably know we start with an oil. So grab your oil, apply it whatever way feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna apply the bottom of my feet. You know, that's one of my favorite ways. Plus I'm diffusing. And when I got dressed earlier, I layer myself with oil. So I have oils all around me. I have them from head to toe really. Start to focus on what it is you want to make as your focus, your intention for today. When you're ready, bring your hands together, warm them. And I have to take a pause and smell the oils on my hand. Bring your hands into your heart center. And we're going to open the practice today with a mantra. It's Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. O-N-G, Om Namo, N-A-M-A. Om Namo Guru, G-U-R-U. Dev, D-E-V. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. So follow me. If you choose to chant it out loud, please do. Otherwise, just listen. I will open it with one chant. So close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. And inhale to begin. Om. Guru Take a deep inhale. Set your intention. Put a smile on your face. Take your hands down onto your knees. Inhale, move forward. Exhale, move back. By now you're probably familiar with our warm-up. Inhale forward, exhale back. Close your eyes. Go within.
focus on your heart chakra. Take it around one more time and then to center and move in the opposite direction. Inhale forward, exhale back. Take it to center. Put your hands on your front shin. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Keep the chin level. Roll your eyes up to the third eye. That's where the pituitary gland is. It helps to release those feel-good endorphins and those feel-good hormones. Move with your breath. Slow it down, bring it to center. And we're going to take a quick inhale and deep and pull up the breath through the bottom of the spine, all the way up and out through the crown of the head. And once you get there, hold the breath. and release. Take your hands on your knees, inhale the shoulders up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Move with your breath. Inhale the shoulders up, pull up on the root chakra, pull that breath all the way up through the crown of the head, hold it, and exhale and release. Bow your head forward and take it on an in inhale in one direction, back, opposite direction, and forward again. Move with your breath. Take it the opposite way. Take the head to center. Take a deep inhale. Pull the energy up from the root all the way up the spine, out the crown of the head. Pull the breath up. Hold it. And exhale and release. Gently open your eyes so I can show you the first position. For the Kriya, we're going to take our arms out and a V in front of us. And we're just going to inhale, big circles moving backward. Inhale forward, exhale back. Move with your breath, close your eyes. We're opening the heart chakra. Inhale forward, exhale back. Move with the breath. Picture your heart opening. Keep 
Keep moving your arms, keep moving with the breath. Inhale forward, exhale back. Now switch a breath from the deep inhale and exhale to a pumping of the stomach and it goes like this. You're inhaling and exhaling short, fast, and quick through the nose. And the stomach is pumping. Move with the arms. You're almost there, keep going. Keep pumping that stomach, and if it's too much with the pumping, just go to long, deep breathing. Take it around one more time. Bring the hands out in front into the V shape. Take a deep inhale. Pull up on the root chakra. Pull the breath up and out through the crown. Hold the breath. And exhale. Shake out your hands. Take your legs, shake them out. Because our next posture is going to be on the ground. I will demonstrate it for you first. We're going to go into bow pose. Your head will be lifted. Your stomach remains on the floor. And we're going to do that breath of fire again. So come into position. Hold your legs. Lift them up just a little. Stomach stays on the floor. And it looks like this. You're not here for very long, so just do the best you can. Keep going. Keep the breath of fire going. If you're having any challenges, go into long, deep breathing, but try to keep the breath of fire going. And to help you pass the time, I'll share with you. Again, when the heart chakra is balanced, we are in a place of love, compassion, kindness, forgiveness, and service. When it's unbalanced, we may suffer from grief or fear or rejection or be easily hurt and offended. Or we may find ourselves heartless without empathy or compassion. Okay, you can release it now. So gently release to the ground. Take your hands out in front of you and rest your head either directly straight down or to the side, whichever side is most comfortable for you. And just take a moment to rest. And stay on your belly because you're going to go from your belly to flip over to your back. And on your back, you're going to hug your knees in and you're going to roll up and down on the spine. Keep rolling, tuck your chin into your chest, roll on the spine, this should feel really yummy. And you won't be doing this for very long either, so I'll read something for you.
physically, when the heart is not balanced, we may have lodged or stuck energy in the heart, the lungs, or blood pressure problems. Keep rolling on your back. The color associated with this chakra is green. And there's a Sanskrit um, word that is called anahata, which stands for unhurt, uns unstruck, and unbeaten. It refers to the sound heard in deep states of silence or the sound that the sages hear. Okay, so come up to a seated position and just shake out your body because we're going to go into squats. So shake out your body. And then take your feet about 16 to 18 inches apart. And you're going to interlace your hands behind your head and picture me standing up all the way up. And we're going to come down, inhale down, exhale up and do this 26 times. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Count up to 26. Inhale down, exhale up. Okay, so whereas the third chakra, we sense personal power. The fourth chakra is connection. The symbol for the fourth chakra is a lotus petal. Keep going, count up to 26. The animal associated with the chakra is a deer. The fourth chakra is the balance between the upper energies in the heavens and the lower energies of the earth. Okay, inhale up, exhale down. We're almost there. Count to 26. And if you're done before I'm done speaking, just come and sit down and relax. Okay, and then we, the last posture we have of this Kriya, we take our arms back into that position again, where we put them into the V. I'm just checking to see if it's breath or fire. Okay, long deep breathing. So the arms are in a V, inhale, back and forward. Close your eyes and focus on your heart. Inhale the arms forward, exhale the arms back. Move with your breath. Keep moving with your breath. Make it a moving meditation. Make your body movement with the breath a moving meditation. Focus on your intention that you set at the beginning of class. Inhale forward, exhale back. And slow it down. 
Bring it to a V directly in front of you. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Come down into Shavasana. Give yourself this time just to relax and lay. Cover yourself with a blanket. Let your body absorb the movement, the gifts from the breath, and let it all come into balancing the heart chakra. If you're laying down gently, wiggle your fingers and your toes. A nice way to wake up is to rub the palms together. And if you can, rub your feet together, the soles of your feet. This gets all the nerve endings to be woken up and make you feel alive. And if you're still on your back, come up to a seated position. And if you choose to stay on your back because you have more time to stay in Shavasana, please do that. I will close this quickly and easily in case you're still in Shavasana. We close the practice with a short Sat Nam. Inhale deeply. Inhale to begin. So light to all. Peace to all, love to all, sat nam.
Thank you for the gift and the honor. We'll see you all again soon. <laughs>